also I have a Sephora haul for you guys today and oh my god okay seriously I am so excited to share this haul with you guys I probably say that every time I share a haul but these are some things that I've been wanting to try but or I should say brands that I don't have in my collection at all I think there are no I lied there's only one thing that I'm really excited about that I don't have any of in my collection and you know what I cannot call this a Sephora VIB haul for obvious reason I did purchase it in the Sephora VIB sale um, and I did get tw um, not 20% I did get 15% off and I'm not VIB Rouge I'm not gonna say yet because to be honest with you I don't want to be VIB Rouge and that's one of the thing with me I guess you guys will find that out that as much as I love makeup I it's one of those things where in my heart sometimes I actually feel guilty for buying certain makeup products I don't know if I'm just getting older <laughs> but sometimes I look at how much makeup honestly costs and I'm just like I don't want to spend that money on that makeup thing and obviously you guys saw my perfume haul right and you're probably thinking well but that's why I love perfume because I've never heard of a perfume going bad like I've never heard of a perfume going bad if anything perfumes are like wine like they get better with age so I don't feel bad spending money on perfume but it's not like I look I mean whatever let's just get into the haul and I I'm just trying to say that nothing nowadays really has wowed me enough to warrant me spending a ton on makeup and I am not gonna be the person that falls for the package because as much as I I love beauty products and I love beautiful makeup makeup also has to it has to do something you know like I am not just gonna fall for the package it actually has to be products that actually is usable like if it's not usable I'm not gonna buy it. and I'm not one of those people too that buys makeup and then never touch it I'm just like what's the point of buying it I don't care how pretty it's like nothing makes me feel better than like a makeup palette or something that just looks used like I want it to look used because it makes me know that I'm getting my money's worth you know so let's jump into this haul and I'm just gonna start with well, the first thing I want to show you guys is this here this is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick this is in the shade Lolita and I understand the Lolita craze because it's a lip color that I think is so versatile you can use it for many different skin tones but I don't really go for liquid lipstick, neutral liquid lipsticks. I actually love liquid lipsticks that are bright and vibrant like this one that I'm wearing here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this one is in the shade Electric Coral and I just love them bright and vibrant. Like I don't usually go for a neutral liquid lipsticks. I just, I just like them very bright. So I picked this one up apparently I mean it's still on the website it's not sold out and I think it's just because it's sort of like a deeper nude and I actually don't like my nudes too dark like I this is not a lipstick that if it wasn't for the craze that I would probably go for because I don't really like my nudes like this I like my nudes peachy-ish but I've been loving mauve tones lately as well and I actually have a makeup look in mind that I want to do using this liquid lipstick but yeah I I'm gonna try it out and we'll see what happens but I also picked up this one from Stila this one is their stay all day liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Fiore number seven and this one is a gorgeous bright pink and of course we're coming along summertime and I'm all about these bright pink orange peach all of that for summer so that one is Fiore I've actually worn it before and to be honest with you um, I think I want to do a, a video where I test a lot of liquid lipsticks from different brands because 
this one surprised me and the reason it surprises me is because I think that I was expecting a lot more from this formula not necessarily the color or anything like that because the color is absolutely beautiful it's one of those colors that I think it just is so it was so pretty but I don't know I'm 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 still experimenting with the actual texture of the liquid lipstick which brings me to these um, NARS what are they called audacious lipsticks yeah <laughs> the NARS audacious lipsticks and I remember when these things came out honestly I couldn't figure out what the hype was about like I couldn't figure out why these lipsticks cost 37 Canadian and TBH I still don't know why it cost 37 dollars Canadian and the first set that I picked up was in December I got a gift card to in Toronto we have whole rent through and um yeah, I guess it's like Neiman's in the US, but we have whole rent through and I actually went, it was December, I remember, and I went to check out the Tom Ford Lips and Boys collection that came out and they were sold out of all my colors. So I, there was a NARS counter like right directly from there. I walked over there and I remember picking up maybe five of the shades and I literally to be honest with you haven't really touched them like I haven't really touched them and I do want to do a lip swatch video for you guys and we'll both discover why they cost so much I know that they're supposed to be very very pigmented but I just did my what was it called the nude lips my fake nude lips so I am in the market I am shopping for some newer nudes so this is where this little thing came in but anyhow the first shade I want to share with you guys is this one called Bridget and it's a pretty color and mind you I got three nudes so this one is Bridget and I'll just swatch it right here it's a very very pretty color and it's it's sort of like a pinky peachy color I think it's right smack in the middle of what you would say a peachy pinky color is and I think depending on your skin tone this will probably read a little bit brighter but I think on my skin tone it would read a lot more nude and then I also picked up Anita and this is a pretty nude as well this is actually one of my favorites and it kind of reminds me of a lighter version of the Kat Von D Lolita lipstick you guys could see it here it's sort of like a light peach mauve ish color that one is the Lolita and this one is the Anita so another nude for my complexion and then we have another nude called Raquel and Raquel is a color that I actually thought would have been a lot lighter but it turned out to be a very very wearable nude for me and I think I could even wear this without a lip liner if I want to so that's what uh, Raquel looks like and then I picked up two brighter colors because of course summer is coming this one is called Greta and how do I describe Greta it's sort of like a very bright what would you call that pinky shade but there's something else under there as well it's, it's a nice pinky I'm thinking an orchid kind of color um, and don't get me wrong they're very 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 pigmented there's another one where is it they're very 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 pigmented colors but I don't know I guess with my with lipsticks like this I want them creamy but I don't necessarily want them to be too creamy because if I'm gonna spend $40 on well with tax on a lipstick I want it to last all day so yeah that one by the way is grace which is more of a orangey shade than this one here which is called Greta now let's move on to some face-ish type products and the first thing I want to show you guys is the Anastasia Artist what is it called the Artist Palette and the first time I saw this I just knew that I wanted it it actually has a cute little double-ended brush right there and to me this is like your perfect palette and I love eyeshadow palettes that combines both neutrals and colored eyeshadows with it 
and I don't know I guess it's for those girls that kind of like both the best of both worlds I think it's nice to put it in a palette like this especially coming along this time of the year like these are very wearable colors I mean you're probably looking like looking at that vibrant yellow but I mean once you pair it with like really nice neutrals in the crease you can even rock any of these colors on the lid and of course you can use them as pops of colors like that yellow to me is just I just can't wait to wear it as a pop of color and I mean the shades are very very pretty and I actually love Anastasia's eyeshadows I rave about them all the time and Apart from the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows, these are eyeshadows that I actually, I like, I mean, like, these excite me. They make me very happy. <laughs> they're good products. Like, they're actually designed, put together, formulated very, very well. Um, the Anastasia ones, they have, like, a really nice consistency, so they're not too powdery and they're not too, um densely packed like my Ingla eyeshadows these are a nice you know consistency so I'm only gonna swatch a few of the shades for you guys so there are some swatches and yeah we will see how it works out but I definitely wasn't expecting anything less from her palette let's move on to this foundation if I can find it yeah this is the Cover Effects Custom Drops Foundation and this thing, I've heard so much about it and it looks like this, it comes in a, by the way my color, the color that I ended up choosing, I purchased this online was G80 and it comes with a really nice dropper so I've seen people get like full on coverage with just two drops of this stuff so you can apply it to your moisturizer even to your serum you can if you're really really dry you can apply it to maybe oil and kind of you know get your foundation that way oh I apart from that this is G80 but I actually want to get another color of this like a darker color because to me this is the perfect foundation to have because it's pure pigment and you know in the winter time you have your winter foundations and then you have your summer foundations um, this is a formula that you can literally use your foundations all year round. I would even say for anyone, get this in a darker color, especially for my darker skin girl, or depending on what problem you're facing with finding the right color foundation to match you. If you want to go with the lighter color, get the darker shade of this, and then you always have something to kind of mix with your foundation, and then you know you can custom that foundation to suit your skin tone so I'm planning to get the dark a darker shade maybe the darkest or the next one up from the darkest shade that way I can use my foundations all year round I can take foundations that I don't really wear that often because the color was off and add those drops to it and be able to get more use out of those foundations so that way to me is how it's going to be revolutionary if I may say so but to be to be honest with you, I that's how I think it's going to be most helpful for me. And I also think it would be nice to contour with as well. What do you guys think? I think that technology would be really nice if you want a really natural type of contour. I think that would be great. Now let's move on to this here. This is the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. And I use my Anastasia contour powders quite a bit. Like, I'm getting to the point where I'm just like, as much as it works and I love them, I'm a little bored. And I heard so much about this particular product that I really, really wanted to give it a try. And the first thing that I thought when I got it was just how big it is. Like, I was complaining about how much it cost, but when I received it, I was just like, oh my god like this is a huge 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 palette but I like the fact that it has like a really really nice peachy ish shade right there and then it has a contour shade that I'm still debating about it I haven't tried it yet but I just want to see how it works for my skin tone I know that it's not very very warm like it looks like a powder that it actually reminds me of the sleek makeup powders not the texture to be honest but the color itself and what I love about the sleek 
contour powders is that they have like that it's not too warm and it's not too gray so it actually works perfect for people with more yellow to orange deep undertones better than any other contour powder to be honest but I just want to try this like I just did like a little swatch there but I think the most important thing I love about this powder so far even by swatching it is the fact that it's just so creamy it's so about um, buttery and the highlighter shade is not your typical yellow it actually is light peach which works so much better for deeper skin tone because it's just going to help to brighten the areas that we need to brighten and then we have a nice contour shade that we can use to contour without looking too orange so we'll see mind you that is the darkest shade they have so I don't know what they're trying to say but that's the darkest shade that they have for the contour powders let's move on to this thing right here and this is a setting powder from Givenchy it's called the Le Prism Visage Matte soft compact face powder natural result four colors this one is in the shade 85 amber organza organza they do have a darker shade from this one and to be honest with you when i received this in the mail it's i think it's a little bit more expensive than the mark jacobs um i was just like it's so small it's really really tiny but to be honest with you this packaging is beautiful and I know I said that packaging packaging does really get me but this is beautiful package so you kind of like slide it up oops and it comes with a little brush Ugh. it comes with a little brush like I don't usually use these brushes that it comes with but to be honest with you it's kind of nice for let me get myself together yeah it's kind of nice for like applying highlighter to your cheekbones but anyhow then you can slide that shut and then it kind of just opens like that and has a nice little mirror and this is the powder that i think is it it, it piqued my interest because it has it's matte they say it's a matte finish powder but it has little tiny sheeny type of um thing going on with it like you can see that it's a powder but it has sort of like a little sheen to it which is just right up my alley because as much as I'm oily skin in my head I fantasize about being a dry skin girl that could just look dewy and radiant all the time and it's like how can I get both like how can I be an oily skin girl but still look radiant and dewy without looking greasy so a powder like this kind of like you know I'm testing it out and see if that's what it's gonna give me it's like my NARS um, all day luminous foundation it's like can you give me matte but radiant at the same time and yeah we shall see we shall see how this works and then finally oh my gosh I picked up the NARS dual intensity blush and this one I actually picked up at the Sephora store and when these first came out to be honest with you there's no way that nars was going to get my 52 canadian dollars for a blush i don't care if there's two in it i was just not here for that so um i went to the store on the weekend and i saw it and i saw this shade it's called jubilation right and the nars audacious blushes no, what did I say? NARS Audacious Blushes? The NARS Dual Intensity Blushes, they they come with, some of, some of them is like one blush, a highlight, one is a contour, a highlight, some of them are two blushes. This one is two highlighter shades. So, oh my god guys, this is the one that I've been using non-stop since I got it. And it's sort of like a peachy golden shade. I kid you not, this is one of the most beautiful bl highlighter i'm gonna say blush highlighters i've ever seen and they actually have the same exact texture as the makeup forever double what is that called pro sculpting duo um that i've been using non-stop and it's still my favorite highlighter to date but these have the same kind of lit from within texture 
And I know they also said that you can wear this wet and dry depending on how intense you want it. But yeah, this is it. And I did a little swatch here for you guys. So this one is the peachy-ish shade and this one is like the golden shade. This to me made it worth it for me because I can see myself using this little guy all the time you can build it up you can wear it sheer and you can wear it really intense and i feel like this is something that you can wear daytime and it could be appropriate for nighttime as well so i absolutely love that about it and that one as i said that one is worth it for me so that is my haul guys i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see a demo or a review of obviously i haven't really been testing a lot of these products out so i couldn't give you sort of like a mini review um like what i usually do but that's it i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys in my next video